welcome back to my channel or maybe just a regular welcome if you're new here but in today's video it's going to be my first semester experience in college or my first semester at Howard University. I'm a freshman, this is my first time in college so it's been a pretty unique experience, a lot of adventures, a lot of fun and then of course you know you learn some lessons along the way too so I'm just going to share with you guys my experiences as well as a little bit of advice that I may have for you guys but yeah let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to discuss was starting off with the academics. My classes, I took 15 credit hours this semester, I, that means I had five classes. When I first got to campus, well no, I wasn't even on campus at that point. It was still the summertime and I was trying to get my schedule situated and I was looking at like the grad scheme and a lot of the classes I had were not on there for the first year freshman grad scheme and I was calling my advisor trying to get her to like fix that but she was like, oh you can take your classes um, out of order per se. Like a lot of the courses I took this semester they had on there for next semester or freshman year, I mean freshman year, first semester, sophomore year. She was like, you can take them out of order, but we can't add or change anything. There's so many kids. And she said that again when we actually got on campus, when people were still calling her, asking them about schedule changes. She was like, we're just not changing anybody's schedule unless you have less than 15 credit hours. So that's kind of how I ended up where I was. When it comes to the rigor of um, college classes, it's not that different from high school. A lot of the college kids, when I was a senior, they were talking about how hard it is. It was so much difficult. It's not hard. In my experience, it's a lot of writing. That's what I don't like about it, but it's not hard. I mean, it's, I feel like I'm kind of back in middle school where we had those 55 minute classes where you get in and out versus sitting there for like an hour and a half. I mean, in the work, my this is my experience now. It wasn't hard. Like, you just do what you gotta do, sit there, take notes, don't take notes. I mean, it's really up to you. The professor's not gonna bite you if you don't take notes, but sit there and listen to the teacher talk for 55 minutes isn't too hard. And writing a paper once every while, it's not hard. It's annoying, but it's not hard. And I guess it also kind of depends on the professor. I know a lot of people might be familiar with Rate My Professor. I got on there before I got on, um, before I came to campus. My advisor recommends we don't do that, but she doesn't know what she's talking about. You, you don't want to walk into a class blind. But my professors were pretty good. They all had good ratings, which is great because freshman year, you do not get to pick your classes. Um, your advisor does it for you, so I guess I just kind of lucked out in that aspect. But I guess it kind of, um, your professors can shape your academic experience too. Some professors are pretty lenient when it comes to attendance. Be there, don't, they don't care. Other professors, you know, it's part of your grade to be there. So, I mean, I guess that kind of plays into a factor. Me personally, I don't like missing class because I feel like if I miss class, I missed a whole lot of information. And then when it comes to grades, Howard uses Blackboard, which was new to me. I'm used to using Canvas, but Blackboard is pretty simple. You can see all your feedback, your grades. Oh, and another part of academics making your schedule. Um, I watched a bunch of Howard videos talking about making their schedules and how it's a really big deal. I mean, I just thought they were being dramatic. But it is something serious. When I made my schedule, I was ahead of the game. I had all my classes list listed out, all the CRN numbers so I could easily plug it in and just have my schedule done. And they do registration by grade level, so seniors, juniors, freshmen. Freshmen registered last, but at 9 a.m., the day it opened, I was on there. I logged in, put in my stuff, and press submit and then my computer it was like a server overload so I got the message saying too many people on there it kicked me out locked me out the entire system and erased everything I had put in there so I had to make a whole new schedule in the span of 30 minutes before everything filled out could not take my Spanish class it was um full had to get waitlisted for that got kicked out of one of my math classes because it got full had to register for a new English class because it got full I was so upset so yeah lesson learned yeah, and the workload for me this first semester has been pretty good. I've had some classes where um, the assignments can get pretty demanding. Like I have one teacher, we would have to do these four page papers every week. But because it was every week, you kind of get used to it and you know it's coming up so you kind of get ahead of the game. Then I had like one class, oh my gosh, my African American Studies class. That was a pretty cool class. We had to write um, some journals every two weeks. It had to be a minimum of three pages. But at, then at the end, he hit us with this final and it was a take home final. But when I finished printing out that final, it was 52 pages. But moving on to the social aspect of college. <laughs> When it comes to parties, I don't go to parties. I don't like parties. It's always crowded, it's hot, it's loud, it's, I don't like it. But some people like that, I don't. I went to one party 
this semester, if that even counts, because it was during freshman week, during the, um, it, uh, what was that thing called? The all white party, I went to that. It was a school sponsored party, so I don't know if that even counts. I stayed a very short time and I went back to my room. But as for going out, I like going out. I don't go out every day. I go out pretty often though, but not every day. But it all just depends on you and what you're into and things like that. And of course, everything is a lot more fun if you take your friends with you, which kind of like brings into the next topic and concern of college, making friends. Um, Howard is a private university in DC, so it's a lot of people from everywhere coming in. Like it's a, it's a lot of New Yorkers on, at Howard's campus and they will remind you that they are New Yorkers. A lot of Atlanta people. Um, and a lot of Jersey people, those are like the top three places I've noticed people come from. But they do come from like all over the states and stuff like that. And even a whole bunch of international kids too. Or, okay, when you come to college in general, for my experience, I wasn't really worried about making friends. That was not a concern of mine. And it never has been growing up. Like when I was growing up, we moved around a lot. So moving to new places, getting to know new people, making new friends has always been something I've had to deal with. So it's not really a concern at this point because I feel just like I'm used to it like oh here we go it'll happen you know I don't, I don't ever feel like that's something I have to worry about or force like I just feel like if it happens it happens for me a lot of my friends come from classes and the organizations I join that's how I make friends but you can meet friends through friends and I live in quad now so it's a whole lot easier to make friends there you know you seeing people in the hall or when you come into the building it's just a lot of people to talk to and meet and get to know once you make friends there's like this big difficulty in my opinion at how to find hangout spots to hang out with your friends. Howard does not have a student center. It, it creates a small problem in my opinion. Since we don't have a student center, we have something called the iLab, which is like the technology center. But that has become more of a social scene than a little study, get work done place. I mean, if you're into that, that's, I, you know, do what you do. But if you're looking for some place to study, it gets annoying. And then the other spot, a lot of people go to the library and do the same thing. There's also lounges in each of the dorm where you can hang out with your friends, which I've had my visitation snatched a couple times and most of my friends stay in different dorms from me. So it's annoying that I don't, I, I, I'm stranded. So it's annoying because then it really puts a limit on what where I can go with my friends on campus, you know? And I'll tell you, I usually end up hanging out with my friends at the cafeteria. We go around like five o'clock-ish and we end up leaving about like 7.30, 8-ish. We just sit there and talk. Cause I feel like, you know, it's kind of like going to the food court at the mall. It's just, you just sit, you chill, you eat. That's just what we do. And socially, I have to bring up quad. <laughs> living is it's been quite an experience i wasn't there the first two weeks and it's even though i spent two weeks in that other dorm it's such a major difference in how they get down in each of those dorms like in quad it's always something even between the fire drills the little um shenanigans going on out in the hall the um the fun and studying happening in the study lounges all the events that go on it's always something it's just it's been a pretty cool experience it's been an easy way to make friends you know seeing people come and go walking in and out just hey girl hey and all that stuff it's been a really good experience so far um i have a nice roommate i don't have any of those unlucky stories my roommate and i we get along very well actually we're pretty cool so that's been great too. You know, you can also meet friends through your roommate. Um, that's been another major social aspect of my college life so far, as well as the organizations I've joined. I, I'm in the School of Communication Student Council and a podcast on um, Dear Roommate, if you ever heard of that. So yeah, I'm in those two organizations. Student Council, I'm on the freshman team and my main position is in creations. But what I like about being in that club, our club, we mostly focus on freshmen so we have our freshman meetings and it's like seven of us in there and then we also meet again with like the whole council as a whole and we do things there but it's been pretty cool and i meet people through there different people through the council different people through the podcast and things like that so that's how i've made friends that's how i've maintained a social life <laughs> Then moving on to the third part of college, which is just overall adjusting to college life. It's been, that has been one of the easier parts for me. I didn't really struggle with that part. It's, it's definitely, it takes a lot of self-discipline, which I've noticed a lot of people around me, they do not have a lot of self-discipline. It 
you hate to see it, but <laughs> it's true. For me, one of the biggest things I had to learn quickly was money management. I've never really had bad money management skills in general, but the cost of living in DC is not the same as the Southern living I'm used to. <laughs> it's just too expensive but it's fine whatever once you get used to it you learn how to budget wisely like i when i go grocery shopping i downloaded apps from each of the major grocery store grocery store chains which is safeway giant target and somebody else but i downloaded apps signed up for all their coupons and stuff like that and i went like all extreme couponing i got my deli meats for half off half off on the milk because a gallon of milk is five dollars half a gallon was three dollars and i just wanted some cereal so luckily i had already pre-planned and i got 50 percent off half a gallon of milk so it was dollar fifty and i could have my cereal in peace and you know what i was such a little dweeb the first time i went grocery shopping you know dc has a plastic bag ban one day I decided to leave class to go grocery shopping and I have a little reusable bag, bag and my book bag and I was like I should be good I was not good but when I went to get off the bus like my pop tarts jumped out of my book bag on the bus and then I dropped something else in the street and then people were like ma'am ma'am and I'm just walking like don't talk to strangers don't talk to strangers but the whole time she was trying to keep me back my pop tarts I did get my pop tarts that I dropped it was really embarrassing because my entire book bag was wide open but you live and you learn. And my biggest thing, the biggest thing, a lot of people spend money on food. I just can't get down like that. Number one, food is expensive in DC. Number two, I pay for a meal plan and I get my two meals every day. There's not a day that I do not get my two swipes. I'm always swiping. Don't get me wrong, I've eaten out a couple times going out with my friends and I don't mind spending the money, but I hate spending money on food knowing I have swipes left. Like that is the worst feeling ever. I however the biggest thing I spent my money on was ice cream. There's an ice cream shop not even a whole mile away from campus and it was like at one point <sighs> I was going to that place so much that I came in one day and I it had been a few days since I had been in and the owner goes oh good you're back and I was just like and then transportation wise, DC is a city. A lot of people like to Uber, Lyft. I don't like that. And then number two, the Metro is like two, three dollars to go somewhere. It's like four to six dollars round trip to get anywhere you want to go. But number three, the Metro bus is free. All I have to do is flash my ID and I get on for free. So I can go anywhere in the world for free. Why would I pay for Uber? Then there's also the aspect of being independent. That was not a hard part for me. Also, part of independence is time management as a whole. Handling your assignments, um, waking up in the morning, planning when you're gonna do things, eating. For me, I realized quickly, like the first or second week of being at Howard, I needed a schedule. So every day I wake up at eight o'clock, regardless of what time my class is, I just wake up at eight o'clock, head to breakfast, come back, do a little work. If I have any that needs to be done, then by that time, it's time for class to start. I go to my classes, all my classes are back to back. So by the time I come back to the dorm, I either A, do more work, or B, if I skip breakfast that day, I will go to lunch, or C, go out into the town if I feel like it or if I have errands to run. And then by the time five o'clock hits, that's when I go to the cafeteria. And after I come back from dinner, I go back to my room, do some work, maybe socialize with the girls on my floor, I'm shower, watch Netflix, go to bed, repeat. So yeah, it's pretty. it's been pretty easy for me. The strangest part about college has been eating. Um, I do have a meal plan and I use it religiously, but on the weekends, it is so, so, so hard to eat because the cafeteria does not open until 1030 and, and then you can't eat again until like 430 and it's packed because a lot of people, they slept through brunch. So now they're trying to come and get the dinner and then the cafeteria closes at like 630. And I don't like when you eat early, you end up going to bed hungry if you don't fix it. So those are the days where I have to figure out like um, make sure I get my snacks or do I want to walk to Subway and get some. <sighs> the eating situation is very difficult on the weekends. Another important thing is being homesick. I did not get homesick during the semester. It's that I didn't go home the entire semester. It's just way too far to try and go home. So this is my first time back since August. And yeah, and I didn't really have any issues with homesickness. So if you struggle with that, I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, that's that pretty much sums up my college experience so far, the first half of my college year. It's been pretty cool, a lot of memories, a lot of fun. Um, yeah, yeah, so I think that concludes the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh.